Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you notify when I upload new content. This is a reading for all 12 signs. So let's see what's coming at you, what you need to know. Let's see what all the dirty, dirty is. Let's see what's happening. Give me all 12 signs starting with Aries, please. What's Aries need to know? Aries, I feel like you're coming in as the emperor, which, you know, that is Aries Taurus, Taurus energy. And you may be at a crossroads for a long time, kind of guarded and defensive about a queen of cups. Um, so this is, you're trying to like, you're thinking about somebody, you're really at a crossroads. I feel like this is somebody you may have walked away from. You, so your, your justice is looking at something from a different perspective. So getting justice by looking at something from a different perspective about somebody from the past. So whatever this is, you're, you being at a crossroads for a long time, kind of guarded and defensive where a queen of cups is concerned, you may have walked away from this person, or you may be very guarded because they walked away from you. So take it how it resonates with you, but your justice is looking at something from a different perspective about somebody from the past. Maybe that there was a choice between two here. Yeah, I see there's a choice between two because there's a third party here that you may have. You may were, you might have been working with somebody or this is, you may have reconciled with a third party. So there was a choice between two and you may have reconciled with a third party, but they were, they were, they they were playing mind games and manipulating a situation. Um, high priestess energy, somebody who um, keeps their own secrets. They use their intuition. They're not speaking about it. They're not talking about it. Not talking about the mind games and manipulation. Somebody was doing, um, someone was very strategic where you were concerned because it was about money. They wanted that stability with you. They were strategic about getting their stability, but it was all a lie. It was deception. And I feel like your wish is to rush towards somebody and, but you're a little trapped in your head wanting to apologize for, for an ending because of a new passionate beginning. Okay. So I feel like this queen of cups may have walked away from you because you went towards a third party. Now you're trapped in your head about this person seeing, seeing this other person for who they really are. You had to see something from a different perspective um, in order to understand why this person didn't want anything to do with you. Well, there was a third party there for sure. So there you go, Aries. Let's see what's happening. For Taurus. What do we got for Taurus, please? What do we got for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus, please? What do we got for Taurus? You might be mastering your emotions about a pre empress here from the past. You're very trapped in your head about what you want from a relationship. Do you want equal give and take? Or do you want justice for a betrayal? Do you want somebody to get their karma? For some kind of deception. Divine timings at play here though. Or something long term and committed is concerned. Whether or not you're going to recover this and move forward. So. Okay. So Taurus. Taurus. You may be a feminine energy mastering your emotions about a pre-empress. Um, or you could be the pre-empress mastering, mastering your emotions about somebody from the past. You're trapped in your head here about what you want in a relationship. You want equal give and take. But you, you also want justice for some kind of betrayal. Now, the betrayal could have been a lie. 
it doesn't necessarily mean there was somebody cheating. There was somebody, something else going on, but you felt betrayed by something here, right? And, and you want justice for the deception and divine timing, but the divine is saying the wheels turning in your favor. You have something long-term and committed here. You can recover it and move forward. So under the bottom of the deck, you're not seeing, you're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. You're just watching. You're trying to see if somebody is uh, trying to play mind games and juggle you with an option, third party. So you're trying to see if they're going to juggle you with a third party. So you're waiting, you're waiting for strength where this burden, the burden of ending something. You're waiting for strength to transform the burden. That's what this is. You're waiting and watching. You want to see if this person's going to do you dirty or not before you jump into it. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's going to transform the burden when you see that they're not doing anything right. Because I, I don't feel like you're even with this person at the time. Um, but you know what you want out of a relationship, but you have, you know, if you don't step up to the plate, you might lose the opportunity for that relationship. So I know some people are not going to want back somebody who, who cheated, but it doesn't necessarily mean they cheated. Um, this could be you waiting to watch, waiting and watching, being suspicious that they're cheating. Maybe they're not cheating. Maybe they just lied to you and you found out something and um, you maybe have blown it out of proportion. So it could go either way, guys. Not everybody has got, you know, um, malicious intent. Okay, so Gemini, what's happening for Gemini? Um, you may get married, uh, Gemini. Um, you have justice and the two of cups. So you may, you someone may have even proposed to you. So I feel like you need strength because you're trapped in your head. You're thinking somebody's playing mind games with you. And you may be at a crossroads, but divine timings at play. Like, look, you're going to be a queen of pentacles here. Somebody may be proposing to you and, and you're like, you're very trapped in your head thinking they're, they're messing with you. You think they're effing with you, right? Divine timings at play for you to be this queen of pentacles, but you may, you may regret it if you don't, if you don't move forward, if you don't, if you don't believe what this person's telling you, they're wanting to rebuild. They're wanting to work with you. They're wanting things to work out, right? Because they love you. They do love you. And, and you may be watching, what are you watching? You may be watching your wish fulfillment. So why are you trapped in your head about the mind games and manipulation? You think somebody's doing magic on you? You, you feel like you're bound in, in, in mind games and manipulation. You want to move forward. They want to work on a new beginning and love. Somebody's watching their wish fulfillment though. Their wish is to cut somebody out. Okay. Now I see what's happening. Gemini, you may be being proposed to and you feel it because you may have the ability to feel this. This is an empress in the minor arcana. Okay. You may feel that somebody's playing mind games and manipulating you. You're waiting for divine timing here. You're going to work on this. You're going to do this, but there is somebody here. There's somebody that sees that you're happy and they want you cut out, right? Because they're manifesting an illusion got the, ma the magician and the moon, right? High priestess energy trying to end something so that they can have a victory in something long-term and committed. Somebody's going to try to take you, uh, take your spot. Gemini, this person's going to try to move in and take your spot. They think that you got it, but you're almost like you're hesitant, but I feel like you may be hesitant because of spell work being done. Okay. So just know that this person, you know, you don't believe that this person is, is actually saying what they're doing, you know, saying that they want to marry you. It's almost like you don't believe it. And it's right in front of you. And the reason that you're not believing it may be because there's some kind of magic being done. So, um, just focus on moving forward with this person. Um, otherwise you have somebody who's going to try to kick you out of the spot. Okay. So cancer, cancer, cancer. What do we got for the cancers? 
What do we got? What do we got, Cancer? Cancer, your story for the last couple of weeks. Somebody's trying to do you dirty. They're trying to do you dirty. Okay. Somebody didn't want there to be equal give and take. And, and so now they're having regrets where this Queen of Pentacles was concerned because there was a choice between two, King of Wands. You the, they're, Okay, so you guys may have all been friends. Somebody has, you have three friends here, right? You have, you have a King of Wands, which could be a male or a female. Take it out, resonates with you. You have a Queen of Pentacles and you have a Pre-Empress here. Somebody felt like they weren't getting equal give and take, but now they regret what they did to the Queen of Pentacles because of the choice that they made. King of Wands wants to now reconcile with the Queen of, or the, the Pre-Empress here. But that has come to an end. It's come to an end because of the burden they tried to cause. Okay, somebody may have been doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Okay, they tried to get their foot in the middle of somebody. They were juggling somebody with an illusion. They were back and forth with an illusion, trying to take that leap of faith to offer something to the Queen of Cups. See, they're playing both sides against the middle. Somebody knows about the deception. I would say the Queen of Pentacles and the Pre-Empress both know about the deception, right? The, the Pre-Empress is this Queen of Cups here, right? They gotten clarity about this deception. And somebody's going to try to come in and offer their cup to somebody from the past. But you're walking away. And uh, you're walking away. You're walking away. Cancer, you're walking away from this person. Uh, you're working very guarded and defensive because you... Um, you're looking back at the past mistakes where they tried to cause a tower moment in a family situation. Somebody tried to come between, tried to break up the friendship because they didn't feel like they were getting equal give and take into something. And so they, they may have done an illusion here. They were juggling an illusion. They were, they were trying to play both sides against the middle against these two people, this pre empress and the queen of Pentacles. But, uh, but, this king of wands ends up losing because the, there's, there's three people in the mix. There's Adam, even the snake. And you've got a king of wands where this friendship was concerned. They wanted this pre empress to end with burden. They wanted this person to be taken out of the cycle, right? They wanted something to end with burden where this pre empress was concerned, right? They wanted you out of the picture cancer. And now because they juggled this illusion, now they want to take a leap of faith and try to come back and offer you, you, the one they wanted to have in something in badly. They, they, it did, they didn't get what they wanted with the queen of pentacles. They wanted to knock you out of the place so they could get what they wanted with the queen of pentacles. And now that they didn't get it, now they want you to come back to you and offer that cup. But them trying to mess up a family situation just cause that tower to fall. You don't want this person back in your life. You know, guys, don't ish where you eat. Okay. Do not, do not mess with a cancer. Cancers already come with armor. They already come with armor. They do. They really do. So, okay. So Leo, what do we got for Leo? What do we got for Leo? Right off the bat, you got karma, which is in this deck is judgment. So you want to reconcile. You may be trapped in your head about wanting a new beginning, but you're back and forth. You're back and forth wanting to take control. You want to heal a situation, but you got that devil energy. You want to heal, but you're obsessed with being strategic, not showing emotion, being plotting, planning. You can't be obsessed, King of Swords energy, Leo, and wanting to, you know, heal something, right? You're trying to heal something with this energy. That's like trying to, I was going to say something, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because it's kind of gross. 
Okay. But it's almost like, you know, with this energy of wanting to reconcile trapped in your head, sleepless nights, wanting a new, a new passionate beginning, juggling, trying to take control, um, or trying to heal. So you're, 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 you're trying to decide on, should I try to take control of the situation with the emperor energy, or do I want to heal the situation? But you're still obsessed with being strategic, right? King of Wands. You're obsessed with being strategic about something. You're kind of guarded and defensive, needing strength. And you're waiting. You're either waiting to transform something or waiting to end something and walk away. There's a relationship from the past that you're blocked, that's blocked from working with the queen of cups. So you have, you have a relationship that's blocked. Yeah. You're looking back at the past. This is a relationship. You're looking back at past mistakes where you were blocked from working with the queen of cups. So the queen of cups is not working with you anymore. Give me some more clarity about this. Why is, why is queen of cups not working? Because someone, there was three people in the mix with this lover's card. There was a choice here and someone was trying to master their emotions, very trapped in their head about the relationship, but they were playing mind games and manipulating somebody. This is mind games and manipulating somebody for a long time. So you are mind, you are manipulating somebody from a, for a long time and they moved, they moved on. And now your wish is to communicate about the betrayal but you're still manifesting an illusion here. You're manifesting an illusion, right? An illusion to the illusion that you're manifesting here. You're manifesting an illusion. It's an illusion to rebuild. So you're going to try to do a magic spell to try to get somebody to come back towards you after you were doing magic on them and manipulating them for a long time. Think it through. The cards don't lie, guys. The cards don't lie. Okay, so Virgo. What do we got for Virgo, please? Virgo, you're trapped in your head about rebuilding a situation. You're manifesting burden, though. Okay. So you're having sleepless nights over, it could be a third party. You're having sleepless nights over a third party. You're manifesting burden. And I feel like you're going to apologize and move on from an empress, but you're playing mind games and manipulating this. This is an empress. You're, you're playing mind games and manipulating. What is happening here? Hold on, hold on. Emperor and empress energy. Why are you playing mind games and manipulating the emperor? Not speaking. Not a betrayal. High priestess betrayal from the past. That's not what this says. You're trapped in your head about a third party manifesting burden. Okay, the third party is manifesting burden. You want to apologize and move towards your empress, but there was a lot of mind games and manipulation from this queen, from this pre-empress, from, from the pre-empress, from, from this high priestess. There was a lot of mind games and manipulation from this high priestess to cause betrayal, to, to cause betrayal with somebody from the past, emperor energy, okay? You do want to reconcile. You want to move. It's been a long time coming, but you're trying to get peace to move forward. But you keep looking back at the past, right? Because it's like you've done the soul searching, right? You may have some regrets 
where this deception is concerned, you may want a new beginning. Well, Virgo, you may want a new beginning here. You're worried about somebody doing magic, manifesting burden of you getting back together with your person. You do want a new beginning with this person, but you're afraid that somebody's going to try to cause some drama in the situation. That's what I'm seeing, Virgo. Okay, Libra. What do we got for Libra? What do we got for Libra? What do we got for the Libras? You may be confused about an ending. You're, there's a lot of burden and you're trapped in your head with regret. Has to do with breaking somebody's heart and them being very guarded and defensive because you breadcrumb them or there was no equal give and take. Somebody's seeing something clearly. Ooh, they're seeing something toxic clearly communicating. King of Wands. Their wish to cut somebody out. What do we got here, Libra? Libra, I feel like There, this could be an option. This could be an illusion. This also could be confusion. But I feel like something's... This could be an options, even an illusion ending the burden. I'm, I'm feeling you're confused. I'm feeling you're confused. You're confused about something ending, or this is almost even an option ending the burden. But I feel like you're confused on how to end the burden. You're confused on how to end the burden here. You're very trapped in your head with regret. So this is you confused about how to end a burden. And you're very trapped in your head about the regret, having some regrets for breaking someone's heart. You're very guarded and defensive because there was no equal give and take. It's almost like you knew you knew that you did you did something wrong here. You've done some soul searching about this, and now you may be obsessed with communicating. King of Wands, um, Libra, you may have a King of Wands obsessed with communicating. Their wish is to cut something out. Their wish is to cut somebody out. They want to speak the truth about the betrayal. They, they have the strength to come towards you and emotionally communicate about a choice they made with the Queen of Pentacles. But there was nothing but drama there, mind games, manipulation. I feel like this person's coming in, in to take control as that emperor energy to take that leap of faith. They've mastered their emotions. So I feel like this person coming towards you, they're ready to commit to you or they're, they're confused on how to close out the cycle or, you know, it's almost like they're confused in how to end the burdens between the two of you because they know they effed up. They do. And they do want to cut something out so that they can come towards you. But this is almost about having that, that strength to communicate what's really happening, and even if it's a possibility between the two of you for this to come back together. Okay. Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? What do we got for Scorpio, please? There's an option here that's broken hearted because somebody's offering their cup to somebody else and it's causing a tower moment. You're offering your cup in, in to somebody else and it, this option's pissed off. They're upset. They're broken hearted, right? They want to emotionally communicate. They want to take a leap of faith towards you, emperor energy. 
and they want to be with you. They want to be with you. But they see clearly that there's never, there's no equal give and take working on this situation uh, because they're blocked. They're blocked from getting what they want. So Scorpio, there may be somebody who um, sees you happy and moving on into a new beginning in love and they want to come back in and scoop you back up, but they're, you're moving on. You've moved on. You've moved on to somebody else, right? And they're very jealous. It's almost like they're trying to manifest or they're manifesting jealousy Ooh, or drama. They're trying to manifest chaos there. That's manifesting chaos on this pre-empress. This could be you, Scorpio, that they're trying to manifest chaos on this, right? Because they want you to fight and argue so that they can reconcile with your person. They want, they want to be chosen. They want to be chosen, right? Queen of Pentacles is wanting to be the choice for this King of Pentacles in this relationship. They want to be chosen as the wife or um, the person that this person's with. You know, I think we just need to give those thirsty bees a glass of water. That's what we need to do. You can't force somebody to be with you, right? Okay, so Sagittarius. What do we got for Sagittarius? What do we got for Sagittarius, please? So you're you're moving on. You're moving on, Sagittarius. You're closing out a cycle. You're ending something to start something new. And this new is this this new thing that you're starting is a new beginning of passion, but it may be because of someone's deception and a betrayal. A truth is being spoken about. There was no equal give and take. Hold on. Okay. Sagittarius. You're trying to move on. You're moving on or you moved on and you closed that a cycle because you moved on and closed that a cycle. And the reason you moved on and closed out a cycle was because somebody was lying about having a new passionate beginning and betrayed you. There was no equal give and there was no equal give and take, and a truth was spoken to the empress. You're the empress here, right? So I feel like you're out with friends. You're celebrating. You're done. This is you moved on and closed out this cycle. This is why you closed out the cycle. Here you are, the empress, new beginnings. But you're out with friends celebrating. And somebody here needs strength for a partnership to reconcile. Somebody's trying to come back towards you with strength to reconcile a partnership, to have a new beginning, to take that leap of faith. They think there's an opportunity for a victory. They've cut out the other person. They've cut out this person that they deceived you with. They want to come in with that offering of a new beginning of love here, right? Because they see something from a different perspective. But there's still a player playing mind games and manipulating people. This person who thinks that they're coming towards you, they're in a very low vibrational energy with that Knight of Wands, okay? Okay. Sagittarius, this person has to grow up. This person hasn't grown up. You're an empress for heaven's sakes. And this is a knight. This is, there's no, there's no way, right? They baby, they, they need to hold back and watch in with heartbreak because this person, this person who's going to, they, they think that they, um, they left you for somebody else and betrayed you and you moved on. And now they're thinking they can just come right back in and pick up the pieces 
but they're coming in as a knight, still playing mind games and manipulating the situation. Sagittarius, close the door on that person. They they need to. This is no more than F. It's an F boy. It's totally an F boy. Somebody who's just full of themselves, maybe narcissistic energy, very narcissistic energy. When you think that you can sleep with whoever you want to and then come back around and everybody's going to take you back. Everybody wants a piece of that. Nobody wants a piece of that. It's like the, the heel in a bag of bread, right? What do they call that? The hoe? Everybody touches it. Nobody wants it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Something like that. Okay. So Capricorn. Capricorn, someone here is very strategic about how they communicate because they want a victory here. They want to rush towards a victory and celebrate. It's like they want to celebrate a victory. They want to rush in and celebrate a victory. But someone is being very, this is somebody who is playing mind games and manipulating somebody. They're betraying Queen of Pentacles. They're betraying you, Capricorn. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to leave it there. Somebody here is being very strategic. I feel like whoever you're dealing with Capricorn, they're, strate they're very strategic about how they communicate with you because they want to rush. They want a victory. They, they Maybe they're rushing in and out to a third party. So this person thinks that they think they're slick willy. They think they're slick willy. So this person's strategic about how they communicate so they get a victory. They don't want to get caught. They're, they're playing that knight of wands energy where third parties are concerned. They're rushing in and out to third parties. They're playing mind games, manipulating people and betraying a queen of pentacles who, who's offering this new beginning. She's got that, that pinnacle in her hand and she's got it here too. So this is about um, somebody who could be a wife, could be a wife here. Um, or it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Take it out, resonates with you. I feel like it's you, Capricorn. And you, you're offering this new beginning. But there's a choice between two here, okay? And it's a burden. And you may hold back and watch, feeling very trapped in your head about this. So if you were offering something to somebody, they were manipulating you. Um, and I feel like now... You know, you're manifesting moving on. Let me see, let me just put it this way. You're manifesting, you're manifesting moving forward or moving on, right? Um, they're going to regret, they're going to regret breaking your heart for a queen of wands. They're going to regret breaking your heart for a queen of wands. Yeah. You know, sometimes they just got to, play stupid games and win stupid prizes, right? This victory that they think they're getting, they're getting caught. That's what they're getting. Okay, so Aquarius, what do we got for Aquarius? What do we got for Aquarius? What do we got for Aquarius? Somebody's out in the cold from a relationship because of a third party. Tower moment. Divine timings at play here. Emperor taking control of the situation, mastering his emotions, trapped in his head about how toxic something is. The devil energy, right? How toxic it is. Somebody could be obsessed with their wish fulfillment for a long time. They want a new beginning in love here, and they want a victory. They want to heal a situation. This doesn't have to be a third party, guys. Somebody can be out of out out in the cold from a relationship, trying to rebuild the tower, trying to rebuild the tower in divine timing. Now, this also could be somebody could have lost their job. The Hierophant could be a contract. The Five of Pentacles could be that you're penniless. 
right? So this could be that you may have lost a job and you need to rebuild that tower, right? In divine timing, taking control, mastering your emotions, trapped in your head about how toxic something is. And, and your wish for a long time is a new beginning, right? You want a victory here to try to heal a situation. Your discontent or, you know, you don't want to miss an opportunity. You don't want to miss an opportunity where your family is concerned to transform something and reconcile. You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're trying to find peace and balance. You're emotionally communicated that, you know, you're protected. It's almost like you're guarding justice. You're protected. You feel like you're, you're protected. You have the strength to protect somebody and you're still holding on. You're holding on to your empress. You're holding on to your empress. So I almost feel like if you're out in the cold from, from a, um, from a relationship, you're trying to rebuild, right? You're trapped in your head about some toxicity and your wish for uh, it for a long time is to have a new beginning and have a victory rebuilding. You're still holding on to your empress. You're whatever this tower moment was for you, Aquarius. Whether it was a job related or this is you trying to rebuild after a tower moment, um, you're going to take the bull by the horns because you're still fighting for your empress, and that's where you should be. You really should be. So, okay. So, uh, Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? What do we got for Pisces? What do we got for Pisces, please? So Pisces, you may be trapped in your head about your wish fulfillment, wanting to move forward for a long time to a victory. You're trying to move towards a victory here. You're, you may have been at a crossroads or at a stalemate. Um, or you may have wanted to cut something out and your wish fulfillment was to just to move forward and get away from something. Emperor energy taking control of the situation. So you found out, you found out the emperor taking control, illuminating there was no equal give and take and a truth being spoken. Somebody may have been juggling a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Could have been an X in divine timing. I feel like you found out your partnership was playing mind games and manipulating you. That, or there, there was a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition around. So you found out that there was a lot of competition around um, your person. So um, Emperor, I feel like you're finding out that somebody was cheating on you, the truth that they were juggling. Um, it could be a, could be a wife. It could be a wife. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but divine timing, this partnership, there was a lot of jealousy. You're at a crossroads about a choice to move on, but you're discontent about the harsh truth, trying to master your emotions. Yeah. You're just waiting. You're waiting because you know there's a lot of mind games and manipulation and lies are happening. You see that now. You see that you see the burden. You see the burden. So um Pisces energy. You see the burden, Pisces. So whatever you're you're in a masculine and in a feminine energy here, you're you're just making a decision to move on, to move on. Because um and your victory is moving on, believe it or not. Your victory is moving on. So Guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a blessed week.